Hello, I'm Polly Sayer and welcome to The Sheer Luck Show. We have a really great show for you today, from a fashion catch up with Charlotte Collins and Lou Huff, to a bit more fashion in the form of a come shopping with me, with myself and Laura Black. Lots of the team today, but first, let me introduce our very fabulous guests. I'm joined by writer and brand consultant Billy Battier, podcast host and contributing editor to Glamour, Josh Newer smith and content creator and fashionista Rochelle Rowlings. Guys, it's so lovely to have you all here. I think this is a really fun panel. Um, how are we all doing? Good. Good. Day. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Living. Um, I've been absolutely living for your travel content at the moment, Billy. Where have you been? I went to the Brando, which Amazing. is the other side of the world. It's a tiny island called Tetiaroa in French Polynesia. There is nowhere on earth I think that is more beautiful. It's like, it's so hard to believe that London and that place exist on the same Don't do dirty planet. on London, babe. Mm. I love London, but like, it's... It's not real like Moana. Yeah. It like it's it. the colour, the, the blue of the water is unbelievable. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I will be moving to French Polynesia <laughs> in the ASAP. not too distant future. Yeah. yeah. I'd love to hear that. Um, Josh, you were talking about having a Spice Girl on your podcast yes. this week, right? We oh. had, I had the gayest day of my whole life yesterday. <laughs> and that is saying something by Country Mile. We had Jerry Halliwell on the podcast and then straight afterwards we had Billy Porter on the podcast. Oh, cool. Amazing. Oh. So it was like, it was so gay and just seeing those two like <laughs> meet in the corridor outside our studio was just so iconic. iconic. It was amazing. Campus what Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, what it, a day it is the season. Yeah, it absolutely <laughs> is. Um, and Rochelle, you celebrated yes. a fun anniversary. I did right? one year one in London. I survived. She did it. We did it. We did it. And um, as I was just saying, I love it. This is home. And yeah. I've never been more excited. Yeah, I'm loving your zest for life. Oh, I love it. London is just so full of life. Yeah. Like you just walk down a street oh. and it's just like, oh, there's a mariachi band yeah. just like walking down the street. Yeah, oh. I love London this time. Yeah. The best, isn't it? Yeah. So, Billy, I loved your column in Thank Stylist you. this month. I thought it was amazing. It's all about that feeling that we are kind of running out of time to hit those preconceived deadlines mm -hmm. on certain life goals. Um, for anyone that didn't read it, um, you can find it on Billy's Instagram. But could you give us a bit of a, a gist as to what yeah. your point of view is? Well, the gist of it is is that if you if you have these kind of markers in your life, which I think most people do, because society has kind of led us to have these standards that we need to have achieved something by a certain age, like. I mean, countless people would have said by 30 they wanted to be married with mm. children in a house. And what if none of those things are in place? And for women particularly, like, there is no escaping the mm. body clock aspect of it. For men, it is. it can be different. It's not quite as anxiety-induced crushing if those are things you want from your life and it feels like time is running out on them. Yeah. And I kind of... I remember that Friends episode and I, I laughed at it so much at the time when Rachel turned 30 and she was like, well, if I want to have kids by this age, I need to have been with this person by this time yeah. and I need to have met them by this time. And she was like, oh, and that was three years ago that I should have met them for this mm, plan yeah. to come to fruition. And I think, you know, not to like hammer on about COVID now, but those two years were lost and yeah. time was mm. lost with it. Mm. Um, and so I think I'm 33 now. I kind of... I was like, well, if I want a kid by 36, I probably should have met the person I want to have them with by like two years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and that's that's quite stressful it to is. think that. And like the more, the, I think the crux of it is that we're like wasting time by stressing about it, but how do we escape that stress mm. of yeah. like not living up to this ideal that we've put on ourselves? Mm. And what is the reality when that doesn't happen? Yeah. There's a lot of pressure, I think, particularly on women, like, as you said, with your body clock um, and stuff like that. But, um, Josh, I mean, so do you feel kind of the same pressure as a man? It's a strange one for me, because when you were talking about these things, like wanting to have a child or get married by certain points, I think when I grew up being a gay man in our society, those things were not things that were an option for me. Mm -hmm. Like, I grew up at a time when you couldn't get married or you couldn't have civil partnerships. And so it's never been a benchmark or a goalpost that I felt like I'd needed to reach by a certain time. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a biological clock, so I could have kids well into my 60s, like mm. Alan and John did, but I'm going to need to remortgage about six houses to be able <laughs> yeah, to afford yeah, that. Yeah. So yeah. it's difficult, and it's also funny that we're talking about this, because me and my boyfriend had a very honest discussion about getting married and when we were going to do it, and he's given me... 
it was so hilarious. He kind of sat me down and was like, so, you know, we've been joking about wanting to get married. I was like, yeah. He was like, so I definitely want to marry, to, marry you. And I was like, oh my God, you can propose to me right now at this kitchen table. <laughs> this is not the moment. And he was like, no, no, no. I plan everything, so you're going to have to do it. And I want to get married by September 2024. So you need to have proposed by about two months ago. This is basically <laughs> what you're saying. He's like, so now I've moved the goalpost, and it's going to be September 2025. And I was like, whoa. And it was such a funny thing, because... I was slightly freaked out about it. And I was trying to work out why I was freaked out about it. It was honestly because I never thought that was going to be a reality for me. But that also proves that the pressure is not just on women because mm. he is also saying that he feels he needs yeah. to be engaged and settled by yes, 100%. 2024. So yeah. it's obviously just a generic thing for everyone. Mm. Like I felt that with my girlfriends growing up. Like even at like 23, everyone was like, okay, well, you need to be with your life partner now mm. because you've got three years of dating, you want to be engaged mm. at 26. And I did that thing where we were all dating our high school boyfriends and I broke up with mine and left. And yeah. everyone was like, oh, my God, she's going to be like an old maid. Yeah. Like she's left her high and school boyfriend. And how old were you? 23. Um, <laughs> I wish 23, I, I wasn't even getting a second date. Like, I, don't know. <laughs> I know. Literally, like I left and ironically I was like the first to get married. Like I met my husband yeah. like a year after that. And he was, this is funny going back to this because he was, he's 12 years older than me. And I remember going on our first date and someone had told me that he was married with kids because they assumed he was mm. because he was 36 and he had grey hair. And everyone's <laughs> like, so I got really drunk before our date and I was like, you're married with kids. And he's like, are you saying that because I have grey hair? And I'm like, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> you must be married with kids. He's like, I'm absolutely not married with kids. And I actually said to him, I'm like, I'm 24 and you're 36. I'm like, yeah. why don't you, can't you meet anyone your age? And I didn't mean that from like, you're so, ha like, you're so mm. handsome and you're so well accomplished. Mm. And he said, well, no, he's like, every woman that I meet that's my age mm. wants to know within like an hour of our first date mm. if I want to get married and have kids. Yeah. And then I got to, now I'm 36 and I'm the age that when I met him. And I speak to girls that are my age and they're like, we want to know if they want to get married and have kids straight away. Yeah. Which is understandable, right? Which is understandable yeah. and yeah. completely that should be known. And then, but the irony is then the, men, the man gets scared mm. and doesn't want to commit. Gosh, it's so, it's so much harder, isn't it, these days? Because we're all kind of doing things a bit later, but with that yeah. comes extra pressure. But yeah. there's no kind of straight answer, is there? But no. yeah, it was great. And something Thank I think you. a lot of people related Beautiful to, article. didn't they? Thank you. Great um, news. Thanks, guys. Next up, Lou and Charlotte give us the fashion lowdown in this month's Star Watch. <laughs> Welcome back to Style Watch. We're reunited. We are. We're going to talk about everything we're into right now. This is kind of like peak fashion time, yeah. I think. Party season is just about yeah. starting. There's a lot of sequins, there's a lot of velvet. Yeah. Everyone's, I feel like everyone's got their kind of, their coats, their knits. Mm. I, I feel quite good with my, my autumn wardrobe now. Ooh. Whereas like two months ago, I yeah. was not feeling fresh about it. Um, what are the trends that you're admiring? Currently, I'm really loving silver jewelry yes. and silver accessories. Mm -hmm. um, I used to always be a gold girl, oh, yeah. But I actually think my skin tone is more suited to silver. I think silver really suits you. Thank yeah. You. And I've just got a, re a few really good pairs. Mm. These are from Miss Mutt, mm. Lucy Williams collection. Mm -hmm. There's a brand called Lee um, Lee Lee L I E yeah. Studios. So yeah, some really good pairs from there. Mm. And the High Street also Cos have got mm. some amazing, really big silver like flat discs. Okay. They're very very cool. Mango as well. Also have got some amazing. They're like half like silver disc, half glittery disc. Oh, that's cool. There you go. What about you? Um, well, can't, I can't talk about brown again. I just can't, but I will just really quickly. We wanted to talk about trends that we were actually wearing. Yeah. And I have, I've really... You have run really well. You're not doing so well today. But... No, that's okay. But, you know, you've got to take a day off every once <laughs> in a while. Um, I've tried to really commit to it. And yeah. do you know what? It's actually been a really seamless transition into my... I don't know. I, I obviously always, like, had it kind of there. And yeah. I just had to reach out and grab it. It was really, it was really what easy. What is your favourite piece? that you own okay. in your current brown. I outfit. have, there's a Reformation that we're going to put on the screen, a Reformation cashmere jumper. Reformation's cashmere has it's been... It's so good. Oh my God, it's so good. It's yeah. not, okay, it's, it's more expensive than high street cashmere. Yeah. I think the jumper's around £300, so it is an investment, but it is, I've got also more expensive cashmere than that, and this is my favourite. Oh, interesting. Because it's like a thin cashmere, it's like a really relaxed, it's okay. not the kind of cashmere that you get super hot in. It's I a good chocolate it. brown, that. It's a really good chocolate brown. Um, if I was dipping into the trend, oh, yeah. I got an amazing jumper from Almada. Oh yeah. And it's more of a kind of 
grey brown. Ooh. It's not quite as deep and chocolatey yeah, chocolate, as yours. Yeah. More kind of taupey. Okay. And the I cannot describe how soft Ooh, that is. That is that cardigan? This is also them as well. Can I tell you about this Hit really me. quickly? This is from what the brand, we are twin sets brand. They I saw one of them the other day and I like went to say hello and touched yeah. her arm and I was like. Where is that from? Ooh. I know, how cozy. Anyway, and like, it's got shoulder pads. It's got shoulder pads. Oh, and it's I just, love I know it. there's a lot of this style around at the moment, but I particularly loved how, yeah. quite how structured this one was. And is it not the softest thing you've ever felt? Yeah, it's amazing. It's so cozy. So. I love the shoulder pads. Yeah, me too. It's really good. Me too. Well done, Sarah and Philippa. Um, I also am loving red. We're all loving red. There's yes. a lot of red around. Zara have an excellent red coat out there. You know who's doing red very well? Maya in our office. Yes, she is. Lots of red. What brand do you think is doing fashion really well right now? Well, Marlene Berger. Mm. Um, from a designer point of view. And I just think Cos on the high street yeah. is absolutely smashing it. I think they're really obviously well known for their kind of, their core basics, mm. amazing. But they've actually got some really good party wear pieces yeah, as well. Do. It's quite like subtle, but I think it's very elegant. It's mm. very timeless. Mm. And I think it's like any age can kind of wear that brand. Yeah. There's so much party wear that's like classic party wear out there. Yeah. But it's taken like a Scandi grown-up twist on party wear. Exactly. And that's also cool about exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. What nice. about you? Um, I'm really obsessed with J Crew. Oh, right always now. best. J Crew, please come back to the UK. I think we can still order it online. Yeah. They always do party wear really well because they kind of encapsulate that whole like really like all American like yeah. Thanksgiving Christmas sparkle vibe. I don't know. I'm sure I'm describing that horrible. That, like, theirs was like the holiday catalog exactly. look. Exactly. That I was so excited It's to like see. the flannel trousers and yeah. the scarves. And loads, like, they've got some really good little sequin bags, sequin dresses, sequin skirts, and then also great fur around it. So it's kind of like a whole wardrobe. Yeah. I mean, they're kind of, it's kind of like a nod to Jenna Lyons. Their creative director, Olympia Marie, mm. is an amazing follower. We've definitely yeah. spoken about her before. She's the um, but she just brings their clothes to life in such yeah. a cool and modern way. Speaking of, who's style you loving right now? I've got two mm. that I'm really loving. One is Wendy Swan, who is a little bit more classic, mm -hmm. simple, tailoring, denim, wears a lot of brown too, mm -hmm. um, great accessories. Just when you're feeling like with your own wardrobe, almost do you feel, when you feel a bit bored of it, I mm. see it and I'm like, do you know what? It's refined, it's cool, it's classic, mm. I love it. She also wears it well. Exactly. Mm. Um, and then the other one, which is slightly more fun and baby more your style, mm. is So Bolera. She just has fun with fashion. Mm. She cool. is, I think she really embraces accessories. Mm. Um, whether they're bright, she's, there's an amazing video of her with kind of one of those big balaclava, like a puffer balaclava, mm. like knotted around here. Oh yeah, I love those. Amazing people. sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. Again, she's like a good bit of inspiration when you want to have a bit more fun with mm -hmm. your classics, whether you're, that's adding like a fun accessory or a bit of a colour pop. Mm. Um, so yeah, I think she's fab. Classic with a twist. The next question is best high street piece. And we didn't talk about the one thing that we did both buy. Yes, we did. Last week. You know when you like you're really smug because something's dropped and you're like that yeah. is going to be a bestseller it's going to sell out and we both pressed add to basket so quickly yeah. which is this fabulous fabulous sequin h&m jacket i bought cream you bought black I bought black so yeah. we can twin i would wear mine with nothing underneath lou would wear a top yeah i'd wear cami what would you wear bottom half um like i love the idea of wearing it with like a really wide pair of black trousers lush yeah you? Yeah, I think I'm gonna wear that with some velvet wide leg trousers. Oh yeah, perfect. The other thing, can I just say, another great high street buy is the little bag I have from Mango. Um, it's from their latest collection and it is like kind of crystal rose, which sounds like a kind of Judith Lieber thing. It's a bit cooler than that. It's got a little top handle. It's really it's just, cute. It's really cute. Um, so yeah, I've already used it once. So it's gonna come with, everywhere with me at party season. And finally, best high end piece. What, would you, what else? Oh, you there's two. Okay, so two years ago, I was on the hunt for a oh, yeah. shearling. Mm. And I went to Isabel Moran and I tried on the most perfect shearling jacket, but it was so expensive. And I was trying to persuade myself how I could justify <laughs> it, and I just couldn't. Mm. And then ever since then, I've just been looking on resale sites, on vestiaire, everywhere to try and make it happen. Mm. And then the other day, my husband messaged me and was like, your coat is on Relux. And I was like, <gasps> I was so obsessed with the fact that he was following Relux. And I know. Yeah. And I got it at like a quarter of the price. Unreal. And it's amazing. Do you love it? I love it so much. So that one, and then also there's a Ray Lurex play suit, which um, Fashion Bug blog mm. put on the other day and looked so cool. It's and so cool. I really want to wear it. It's, it is amazing. It's yeah, amazing. it's amazing. What yeah. about you? I've got a bit of an and daughter thing going on in my head Ooh, at the moment. Okay. I feel like they just do really good knits. And again, they're investment pieces, but they're not like crazy prices yeah. because there are some crazy price knit crazy, wear crazy, crazy, crazy out there right now. Like it's getting wild out there. So I love your herd pink. 
Farrell. I, I love that knit. Yeah, I heard of an amazing brand. You have the green. Yeah, I've got the green. I haven't seen you wear that yet. I've got the green cardigan, yeah. It's a really lovely, sustainable brand, and they are like the most perfect, chunky, oversized wool mm. knits. And so festive. Like, I love yeah. the Farrell. There's a lot of Farrell. Um, all right, we'll leave it there. We could keep going on forever. Um, this is very nice. Welcome it was back. very nice. Delightful. Um, as ever, everything will be linked in the show notes below, and we'll see you soon. Wow, that H&M jacket is insane. Congrats to anyone that managed to get their hands on it. Um, well, talking of bargains, it is officially Black Friday this Friday, isn't it? I feel like it's already started. It's all month. It's all month, it's isn't all it? Everyone's getting earlier and earlier and they're, you know, prolonging it <laughs> over the next two weeks. Um, have you got your eye on anything, Rochelle? <sighs> We've got, well, we're actually just talking about KitchenAids. And <laughs> we are so grown up. <laughs> I'm proud of us. <laughs> oh, what are you going to make? <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna be there for show. Um, I'm all about homewares because we're just about to move into a house uh, from Sign a unit. Too. So I'm all on the, um, I don't know if Ikea has Black Friday, but this amazing homewares called Cave Home, mm. which I'm obsessed with. And I'm literally sitting there because I'm like, I don't want to pay that. So I'm like waiting. But it yeah. said Black Friday all month, but then it's like that Friday will be even blacker. So okay. I'm like, oh, wow. it's black, it's grey, it's grey. Ooh, oh, it's like, it's black. <laughs> so I'm waiting for like that real black. To go, like, I don't know, like 70 Peak Black Friday. Off. And then I might buy, like, yeah, like a TV stand. So, yeah, Ooh, that's shit. where I'm at. Okay. Oh, wow. Yours is probably more fabulous. Well, my thing is, and this is really controversial, maybe. Maybe it's not controversial at all. I've never, ever, ever bought something in a Black Friday sale. It's, I think never that's... Never in my whole life. I find it a bit stressful as well, It actually. is yeah, it's quite stressful. It's so much... What stresses me out about it is, it's so much admin, and I've had to use so much admin <laughs> getting those Taylor Swift tickets ad. this year. I'm done with admin. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Who has the time for it? That, like, like, who has that, the energy? Because you, honestly, if you want to actually find a bargain that is actually going to be mm. something you need in your life, oh, and through. not just something you're just going to buy, because you're like, oh, yeah. oh my God, it's got 70% off it, yeah. and then you get it, and you're like, oh my God, I don't even need this yeah. anyway, and now yeah. I can't return it, because of X, Y, and Z. Like, I find that quite, you have to put so much effort into actually finding a buy that works. But yeah. if you want something, I exactly. earmark it for mm. Yeah, that's good that yeah. So maybe I need to channel you more, and maybe I'll do that this Black Friday. Yeah. yeah. What I have, have seen. Yourself? I want some ballet pumps. Okay. Oh. Yes. From... I know they're like, they're not done yet, but like I'm late to it, like most trends. Um, and I just, I really want the Mimi ones. I they're want them. They're so lush, aren't they? Don't wear them. Um, in the London streets in the rain like I did last night. I feel like the it's Saturday Saturday ones taxi, like... to ta taxi to door situation, mm. right? Yeah. They're now, um, they were pink and they now have a blue rim around them oh for my, my jeans. R.I.P. R.I.P. Okay, maybe I'll so be getting some get black. The no, no, get the duck. <laughs> yes, mm. maybe. So mm. A lot of brands are actually doing no Black Friday because mm. they want to talk about slow um, yeah. buying. There was a certain brand that I think got a bit of backlash because they said they weren't doing Black Friday, but then people yeah. were like, you're not rewarding your customers. So it's a bit of a like, it is, isn't I get it? it, but yeah. I guess people really bank on it. But it's an interesting thing to watch where it's like, yeah. you know, they've chosen not to do it and then there's brands that are going to like 80% off mm. and it's like you know you're trying to kind of understand where both are coming from like yeah. that kind of slow buying that fast fashion mm. it's like that nice in between so I think like you were saying it's good to make a list and be aware of yeah, what you're buying for sure. go well. for your investment pieces exactly mm. yeah I really want all of the Ray knitwear oh, there's yeah. this like like dark blue denim cable knit jumper if I, in looking at it, it's making me sweat, but like it's not putting me <laughs> off wanting it. It yeah. looks so chunky. It's so I'll be happy and sweaty. It's like you must just day. sit still and yeah. not move, yeah. but yeah. I'll look incredibly <laughs> shoot. <laughs> Do you know what? Actually, the Ray jeans, I've got two pairs of the boyfriend jean, and they've gone down to like 75% off, and they're the oh, best wow. jean I've ever bought. Ooh. Yeah, they're oh, yeah. very the row. Um, Do you mean like the, the sort of low, very saggy yeah. ones? Yeah. Actually, if you get the ones that are um, sewed up at the bottom, you just undo the stitching and they're into like a real baggy boyfriend. Uh. I don't know why they sewed them at the bottom. I feel like I have the white pair and I'd say like Love size the down. Yeah. Like they're, oh, they're big, yes, I, they? I got like yeah two sizes down because yeah. they're huge. But, but if you so do cool. it with a ruched belt, like mm. it looks really, really cool. Yeah. Very comfy. Mm, very comfy indeed. Yeah. Not to give myself too much of a self plug, but um, <laughs> <laughs> there is 20% off my Daisy collection at the moment. And if I say so myself, and it looks so good. And it looks so oh, nice. stunning. Thanks, I'm into your silver era. Yeah, I never thought I was a silver girl, but I think I'm, you know, I could be the convinced. silver shoes. I mean, yeah, with my silver shoes. I feel like you can't see them on the on the camera, but they deserve a moment. Yeah. Happiness shoes. Yeah, I'd want those on the Black Friday deal. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I don't know if they are. <laughs> no. But have a little look. I'll do the hard work for you, babe. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Oh, I get on the hard work. <laughs> the <even> true. <laughs> oh. All right, thanks, guys.
guys, next up, come see what Laura Black and I snapped up when we spent the morning at one of London's newest fashion destinations, Battersea Power Station. We are here at Battersea Power Station, aren't we, to do a bit of shopping? Yeah, I think we're going to see what they've got, a bit of party wear. Yeah, maybe some Christmas shopping for other people. Yeah. It's time to start, isn't it? It is about that time. We've got this beautiful Christmas decoration, yeah, I think. Yeah, feeling pretty festive. And the location of this is just so prime. Like, you've really got a bit of everything. Like a bit of lunch, coffee as well. Yeah. So it's a real day out. Yeah. And I'm excited to see what's in store. I'm excited. Should we go and have a move? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. So, first up, me and M. One yeah. of my faves. Love a bit of me and M. I immediately was drawn to this like navy knit. Like, look at the shape of those sleeves. It's so oh soft, God, isn't it? So isn't it gorgeous? That is look at this jacket. That's oh a real forever my piece, God, isn't it? That is amazing. What's well, a nice sort of Christmas Ooh, Day it dress, isn't it? Oh, oh, yeah, look at the sleeves on that. It's yeah. cute. Yeah. Look at that, Mary Jane. Isn't it? So cute. Love that. Yeah, really, really nice. Oh, my God. Just spied this oh. ceiling coat. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Such oh. a nice colour. I love it so much. It's such a good colour. I've never seen like a shoe jacket in this colour. That is such a good colour. Isn't it? It's like softer. <gasps> yeah, I love that. That's cool. Right, add that to my Christmas also, list. In here, I popped in here before. Look how mega the changing rooms are. You can charge your phone. I've really thought of everything. I've really, really thought of everything you. in here. That's a cute little yeah. jacket too. Like over. Oh, yeah. Like if you're going to a winter wedding, winter you don't know wedding, what to yeah. wear of your like, dress. That's cool. It's a little like layering top, isn't it? Hmm. This is also cute. Look at that. Oh my god, that with your with, jeans and shoes. Yeah, or make it full on oh, tux cool, with the sequin yeah. top. <gasps> Love that for Christmas that's parties. That's mega, isn't it? Me and Em, I have a couple of their shirts and they do this really clever mm. little elasticated bit around oh, there. What, so you can pull them so up? So you can pull them up. Ah, that is clever. That's really nice with that bib detail. Oh my goodness, cute! cute. I love that little strap. That's so cute, I isn't it? I love that. And look at Ooh. this. It's a good party bag, isn't it? Isn't it? Very nice. Very nice. I love the strap on that. Yeah, that's kind of sort of contrast that's a great boy. bag that feels such amazing quality yeah well, that is it? lovely oh look at that that's a <gasps> lovely shape isn't it that's that strap oh Polly that's good oh yeah, yeah that's good shoulder lovely bag. Ooh, yeah really big fan of that a nice nudie colour oh my god look I'm drawn to all the miniatures it's so sweet does it have a strap that is cool Yes, it has a little strap. Didn't okay. know that Mulberry did sunglasses. Yeah, cool. Do okay. I look okay in these or are they? You really suit that shape. Do I? Okay, thank yeah. you. Oh, that's, they good? you look really cool in those. Woo. It's giving like, don't With talk the, to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many good bags. Great. Well done, Mulberry. All right, on to the new Mass Mo Duty store now, I I'm think. I'm excited for this one. Yeah, it's I know. literally just opened, hasn't it? I've just spied. Dashoom, which is Ooh. apparently opening soon. Mega. Love the Dashoom breakfast and lunch and dinner for that matter. Oh, lovely. And this is all pedestrianised too. Yeah, brilliant. And then that Zara, which is one of the best Zaras I've ever been to, apparently is one of the biggest in the UK. It's just also just is so beautifully curated and laid out. It's oh, lovely. Um, so but for now, I'm, premium. I've got my eye on that fair old knit yeah. right now. So let's go and have a look. Quite cute. A little velvet bomber. Yeah. The next situation of the bomber. Yeah. Okay. I like love this line. like shallow V mm. this season. Yeah. That's Sometimes so a bit more flattering than like yeah, a deep love V, that. isn't it? Love those. Obsessed with those. Like that heel that height heel. is so good, isn't it? I've got quite a they're similar mega. pair from like last year that are a similar heel height and I just wore them so much because they're so comfy. I really like the shape of those as well. They look like they could be designer, I think. That's yeah, they're shape. cool. It's really it's like nice. Oh yeah, that's nice. Really nice it's like really fluid. Well. Quite, yeah, quite fluid. I also yeah. actually have this already I in cream, uh, in grey, but I'm Ooh, that's eyeing lovely, it up in cream too. Lovely texture, that's it's really yeah. nice. It's also got quite good wide sleeves, so you can get a knit mm. underneath. Just notice those shoulder pads. The shoulders on that. 
and a slightly oh higher my God, I love that. neckline, isn't it? Which is really nice. I really love that. Oh, that's a good boot, isn't, isn't it? That's a good boot. That's like perfect, actually. Lovely. Oh, and there's that fair old knee. Oh yeah, you found it. Yeah, that's lovely. I feel like that could be my like Christmas Christmas day. jumper. Yeah. All right, should Come we? On, let's go. I feel like maybe we need to cover some beauty. Yep. Beauty um, so sounds good. Okay, it's always one of my faves. Yes, thing. and I hear that Boots is also opening here on Electric Boulevard, so ah. that's coming soon as well. I believe 140 stores, restaurants, etc. in this whole complex. So you really can <laughs> find a bit of everything. I've been to the um, the bar. Is it called the Control Room? Oh here? yeah, have you been? Yeah, it's a really, really cool. Want, really like, want to go there. It's kind of like. Wes Anderson sort of. That's awesome. It. Yeah, it's really, really cool. So good to come in the evening as well as there. Yeah, I've, I've been thing. to the ones out by the riverfront. Mm. They've got some really nice places actually there. Mm. Really cozy in the winter. winter. Yes, opens. came last year. Cool. That was really cool. I brought the kids and it's opening again this year. I'm yeah. definitely going to book. That's really fun. Right, I think so it's okay down there. We're okay, I want to know what are your. Oh. What are your three? Must haves. Okay. From Space and K. I I'm going to find you mine too. Okay. Number one, Charlotte mm. Tilbury Flawless Filter Foundation. I mean, I'm going to double you this. up on that because it's it is the so one. Good, isn't it? In fact, yeah. I'm wearing it today. But my other essential, these little lip and cheek colours from Rose Ink. I, my favourite is Azalea. So you can use that as a little dab dab on your cheeks, but you can also use it as a lip colour as well. So it's a nice one to kind of keep in your bag with your little mirror there. These hourglass palettes should go on everyone's wish list. They are, it's all there. Like shove that in your bag and you can top it up all night long and your skin's going to look amazing. These are also supposed to be Vive. They're supposed to be oh, amazing, yeah. these sticks. That's quite a what dark one for me. Oh, it's an eye. They're the eye though. ones. I yeah. use their um, Skin Nova. As oh a yeah, kind what's of that? Like glowy primer thing. Is Again, it? Hodge told me about this because I'm like, it's skin's amazing. That under the Charlotte Tilbury foundation, it comes out like that. Let's see. You can see. Oh yeah. And that's the sort of like quite radiant little jobby, and it just makes your skin so glowy. And then you put your foundation on underneath, and it just. I am actually going to buy some of this because I'm running out. I use it all the time. You? Okay. It's my like ride or die hair product. Sam McKnight's barely there texture mist. Okay. Um, it's just really good for the fine haired girlies out there. If you oh. want a bit of volume without it like really? being sticky or like weighing it down, it just gives it a bit of like oof. oof. I like that adjective so you're using on repeat. Yeah, thanks, I'm just using all the, all the English. <laughs> Even have a treatment in there. Oh. How cool is that? Doesn't that look chic? Oh, Doesn't so you it just? get like a facial or something, I believe. Oh, look! Look at that. Put your feet up mid, mid shopping. Mm. Sometimes it is a bit just overwhelming. Bit Christmas you, shopping, you, totally you overwhelming. <laughs> this is my absolute fave. The smell of this that is going to elevate your sink. Lord knows it needs elevating. Oh my. Ooh. That smell. Oh my god. Isn't it good? Oh. Any of my loved ones are watching. But what am I missing? Okay, I need to go to um, Hourglass and get an eyeliner okay. quickly. Yeah, that's it. And look, you get like the pen. And that just makes your life it's so easy to flick. Right, I'm going to go buy these and then. Great. Back on. Stocking up. Mm -hmm. I'd quite like to go to Reformation next door actually because. Well, I, I don't know, I just always like going in there. It's probably one of my favourite, like, yeah, I stores. always think of you with Reformation. I love it. Like, I think they do great tops. Like, hard to find good, like, just going out tops, general tops. And they also, yeah. obviously, do great dresses. Also, knitwear. Ooh, oh, my God. Oh, seasons. Hello. And that is Christmas, right? Is there. Love that, too. I've got this dress as well in oh. cream and I wear it all the time. <laughs> Reformation like, queen! And I've actually, I've been like eyeing this one up because it's just, a, it's a sexy little dress. Yeah, that is a good dress. Nice that's a chocolate nice. brown. Well, that's a really nice colour. I never know if I can wear brown. I think you can. Yeah, that's really nice. That's nice that's too. Nice. It's got a um, really nice padded shoulder. Yeah, and it like, sort of nips in at the waist at the waist, as well a bit. Yeah. Quite into it at the moment. Ooh. Love that cardigan. That's nice. 
I think they had that in like beige last year, but that's really nice. Nice again, a good sleeve. Yeah, a really yeah. good sleeve. Look at those. They're that's mega. They're like, mega. Great, like little kitten heel, just like a black pair of trousers. I feel like you're on the party moment. vibes, and I'm on like the cozy <laughs> winter walk vibes. Hey, we can cover both bases. Yeah. Oh, so this is where you can like you pick, select, and, and then on. it goes to where's your dress? Let's go to dress. Okay, what's your name? Ooh. Here we go. What's my name? Polly. New room. Try stuff on. Try stuff on. That's so good. <laughs> no way, that is so cool. That's, That's so awesome. Easy. I'm kind of into these jeans with the um, yeah, just trying them on. with a bit of a sheen. I'm gonna mix it up and go with a grey jumper and mm -hmm. some <laughs> grey jeans. If it ain't broke, babe. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> look, Ooh, look, at look at you! Those jeans yeah, look cool, really good on you. They're really cool. They I make your like legs look about season. three miles long. Oh, said no one ever. No, but seriously, <laughs> they look amazing. Yeah, cool. Look at and you. Thank you. I think I'm going to get this dress. You have got I to really get love it. Ooh, oh, very oh, chic. Wow. Thanks. This what is really vision. cool. Really cool. They're cool, these trousers. The trousers aren't they? are great. It's a back, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's a good back, isn't it? That's is so pretty. Gee. I love that on you. Thank you. I feel like with a black blazer or something, that would look quite cool, wouldn't it? Oh, cozy. That looks great. Uh, how cozy is this? Oh, the boots. These boots are so good. So and the jeans. Comfy. Yeah, the jeans aren't bad, are they? They're really good. nice. A good wash, aren't they? Yeah. I kind of like it done up, but I'm done like this over top vibe. It's a bit more of a like, I don't That's know, such good like evening. party. Yeah. yeah. And I think Reformation do really good evening tops. Like, I think it's quite hard to find ones that aren't too like, out Open there, top. but still yeah. quite like sexy and yeah, it's got Again, really nice for the blazer. Yeah, so Great. much to Reformation. I know this cardi. My card's gonna take a beating, I think. <laughs> Beautiful line, a dopamine hit. <laughs> <laughs> she was just looking up at all the um restaurants. Oh, wow, I love yeah. that. The bab's also quite nice, isn't is it? it? Is, yeah, I've never like, been there. Delicious in there. Went there for dinner fairly recently. Oh, but I've been to the food hall, do they call it a hall? Arcade? Yeah. Upstairs and that was really nice. Again, really nice for kids. Mm -hmm. And then I eyed up Bounce. Oh yeah. They've got one upstairs. Oh, like the ping pong bar. Yeah. Oh, cool. I didn't Refine know your skills. Yeah, pretty cool. Dog pink friendly, cast. love that. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Oh, look, they've got a jigsaw. Ooh, should we have a look? Oh yeah, go on then. I love that bag, oh my oh god. Oh my god, I Ooh. love that bag. Also, niche, but I'm in the market for a, a blue scarf I mean, like I this. I feel like you're drawn to the blue. I am. Let's have a look at you. Oh yeah, that is good. Yeah. Good lord, that is a beautiful jumper, isn't it? Let's see. Oh my god, that's good. That's yes, look at the sleeves. Oh my god. <sighs> Very cool, isn't it? Just with that. Wow. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah. Oh my god, look at these silver boots. They are mega. That's cool. Four. Yeah, I feel like that's a vibe, isn't it? That is a vibe. Even Focus your minis. Funnies. Yeah, my little black mini dress and yeah. those. Also amazing. I'm obsessed with those. Bit pony hair. It's giving yeti, but in like a really good way. That's very chic. That, isn't it? Good shape in that bag. That's lush. Very cool. <laughs> How good is this? Oh, do you know, it's so, is it really soft as well? Look yeah. at the sleeves and the cuffs on that. It's so nice, isn't it? That's mm. mega. Oh my God, love it. Nice. That's cool. Oh my God, Laura. That's, That's good, isn't so it? That's so good. That, that looks so amazing nice. on you. Lovely colour as well. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. really cool. Tempted, really tempted, but okay, no, I'm, I'm gonna try and show some restraint, but that's going on my Christmas list. So CST, what is that? 
we have a quick look oh, in there? Like, oh, it looks like designer, body CSC, smoky, so this is all pre-loved. Pre oh, God, I love shops like this. How good? Oh, my God. Is it how good? What size? 36. 36, is that you? It's just about squeezing. That's cool. Celine hoodie. Good selection of pre love designer bags. Oh, they're gorgeous. Mm. Look at those. Oh cool. my god, those red Jimmy Choo's are cool. I know. You're saying? No, no. One size too small. Aww. I really like, like going to a mango store IRL because sometimes the delivery's a little longer, isn't it, online? So yeah. it's always a treat. And this <gasps> looks like a good oh one. Oh my god. They've got that coat as well. Oh yeah. Stocked. If you're trying to get your hands on I it. I was going to say, that always sells out. It does, yeah. Oh, I love their jewellery at Mango too. Yeah. I've actually got, I've got these. Oh, they're really cool. They're, they're cool. Okay, now I'm really owning up. I've got those too. These are awesome. Love those for party season. All good boots. These are really nice. And under a hundred pounds. I feel like this is an outfit. Oh my God, yeah, that is it's an, an outfit. outfit. With my shoes. Yeah. Oh my god, there's another dog. Quick. <laughs> oh, how do we feel about a um, sparkly beret? Well, I'm not sure that's for me, but I'm you know, sure you're sure. I, mean, you I feel like you have to wear it like a slightly jaunty angle, but even then, I'm like, not really sure. Do you know what? I think you can pull most things off, but I think we might have just <laughs> found our limit. Achilles heel. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Is that a dress? Yeah, it's a dress. A tube dress. That's cool. Mm. That looks really yeah. expensive, doesn't it? It's nice and heavy. Sparkly mini, can't get enough. Yeah, I love that. that, that With that, look. it's a look. It's a look, baby. Ooh. Good suit jacket there, isn't it? Well, the little blazer. Oh yeah. my God, it still smells the same in here, doesn't it? Yeah. But that's nostalgic, isn't it? Yeah. You know what, I've actually spotted these online and wondered what they look like IRL, and I'm not disappointed. They're like slightly similar, well, yeah, they're egg, good. aren't they? They come up nice and high. Mm. We featured this the other day. That's really cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Really nice. Like not what you'd expect from no, Abercrombie. It, it's not, but like I'm really it's pleasantly cool, surprised. It? Really like that. Oh, that looks nice. That's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah. Really cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, you can remove the um. Remove the scarf as well. Remove so the scarf. Do you know what? To know that these jeans come in like regular. And I might short have a length. quick look at those. Nineties. So if you're like petites. Very good coats in here actually. Puffers, a party. I mean, they've literally got it Puffers all, haven't they? Or Thirsty yeah. work this, I think we could do with a drink. Yeah, I'm ready one. for a drink. Yeah. Here it is. It's cool, that's really cool. I it was quite Wes Anderson. Oh my God, look. It's actually, like this whole space was the control room in the 1950s. That's really cool. That's pretty cool, isn't it? The controls are the original ones. That's really cool. That is quite cool, isn't it? Cheers, what a nice day. That was a fun day, wasn't it? I really feel like I could spend all day here. Oh it's like my God. Everything. So they picked with some and m me and Em, I think, um, that will live rent free in my head for a while, yeah. And, I mean, Reformation, I obviously got a good dress in there, but there were so many good party bits, I really loved. Yeah, and I was just looking through my pictures, actually. Those jeans were quite good, weren't they? Yeah, they made your legs yeah. look so long. What else? Tickled your pickle. Pickle, my pickle. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Reformation Cardi. Mm. Also, a lot of good party pieces. Those mango earrings. Yeah, good old mango. There were some good sparkies yeah, in there, good wasn't there? And they had a really cool crop, that crop, like fluffy jacket. That was mm. cool too. And I don't know, a lot. Special mention from Massimo Dutti, I think, for the new, yeah, stores. the new store. So beautifully laid out, some lush bits in there. Yeah, the whole day has been a lovely mm. shopping experience. Very chill, very nice, great selection of pieces. I felt like I could have bought something in every shop. What is this? It's a power station. <laughs> That's what we see it looks brilliant, oh, doesn't it? That is excellent. It is extra and, and excellent. That's quite romantic, Cheers. isn't it? It's a lady. lady in the town. Very nice. Very cool. Thanks so much wow. for having <laughs> me. Yeah. Have a fun day. Out. Never had a drink like that. I don't know if I want to go for that. <laughs> Oh, I love watching that back. It's made me feel so Christmassy. Um, Batty Power Station is so good, isn't it? Love. Big fan. These guys are Batty Power Station's number one fan. Well, well the ice rink is sensational. The Joe Malone ice yeah. rink. Go, go, go. It's a Sheikah's ice rink. 
ever. Because you know sometimes ice creams can be a bit like... Yeah, cheesy. Eek. And you're like a bit worried about what you're putting your foot into. Do you miss a little penguin? <laughs> Oh my god, of course. <laughs> so I'm not tall and deep, babe. I'm not doing like spins around the thing. So they are these little penguins that the kids use and I just yeah. saw like the yeah. chicest little adults using them and I was like, it was you. It was me. It was you it and was the me. penguin. Yeah, no, I love it. I love because upstairs it's it's made for children. Yeah. And gays. And gays. And um, gays with dogs, because you can yeah, take dogs. Yeah, it's like, oh you can bring your dog yeah. there. I'm like, you can bring your kids there too. Dogs and kids. Yes. Yeah. There's a food court upstairs and we were just saying it's magical because yeah. you sit at your table and you're like, oh I fancy I don't know, like a deep fried hot dog and that comes out and then you're like, but then I might have some sushi and that yeah. comes out too, to your same table. It's so good. So yeah. you can have whatever, which is amazing. Well guys, I'm sure we've all seen the British Vogue covers, haven't we? Which features a celebration of British icons, people including Stormzy, Jodie Comer, Tilda Swinton, Kate and Lila Moss, Little Sims and Olivia Coleman. So what I want to know is who are your British icons? Billy, I'll come to you first. David Attenborough is my ultimate British icon. I just think he's just the most gorgeous human being ever. Obviously, you can listen to him all day, every day. Yeah. He's so, like, fabulously British mm. in a sometimes, I feel like, slightly camp way that it, he's so British. He's almost a caricature of, like, yes, himself yeah. now, isn't he? Like, yeah. I was watching the new, like... David Asperger one the other day. Is it yeah. like Our Planet or something? Yeah, and I was just like, it just wouldn't be the same without his voice on that. No, like it's magical, it's and amazing. especially this time of the year, this time of year, I feel like it's like Attenborough time oh, of the gotcha. year. His activation is amazing as well. We took the kids the other day, oh, so I can't it? even remember where it is. But um, you basically go in, and it's like um, every single like place that he's ever been in the world. Oh, wow. Um, and they project it on these huge screens, mm. and they have bean bags. And so basically you lay on these beanbags and it's all over the ceiling and all over oh the walls. Gosh, just like, sounds so nice. it's, it's so beautiful. Like the kids hated it, but we loved it. Um, <laughs> we loved it. Um, you know, they, they just like, they wanted the gift shop, but my husband and I just laid on the beanbag and it was beautiful. Oh, like, yeah, voice highly, is so soothing. And it's, yeah. yeah, well, it's actually the sounds of nature. So it's really good for a hangover, I reckon. Okay, stop oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was a drink of that. You need to go to the Then David and Brat on the beanbag. That's the season, guys, you're sorted. That's a real investment for a hangover, isn't it? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to a tourist destination to rid me of this. Rochelle, who's your British Do you know, icon? it's so funny. As an Aussie. As an Aussie growing up, um, I was, like, brought up with all British, like, uh, TV shows. Like, my dad used to watch every single... I'm try trying to remember the one, um, Men Behaving Badly. I don't know oh, if yeah. anyone oh, ever yeah. watched that. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Yes. So we watched that. Like, and I'm pretty sure we probably shouldn't have watched it because it was, like, now watching it back, it's like... Pretty naughty. Um, but um, we grew up with that and all British movies. Like, my parents wanted us to have that kind of sense of humour, not like that, you know. Pray that. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It was like, yeah. So, um, Michael Caine was like my dad's favourite. Mm. Um, and so we watched every single Michael Caine movie. And actually, I forced my daughter to watch Miss Congeniality the other day. Oh, he's so good. And in that. I forgot. It was amazing. And he's in it and he's so camp in it. Like, he's, and he's so, so good in it. He's so good in it. And it just reminded me, I absolutely love him. And he had his 90th the other day and he announced oh, wow. that he's retiring. He had his 90th wow. at River Cafe. He deserves it. He's retiring. Yeah, he's like, oh, but then I'm like, maybe just spin. pump out one more. Just one you more. give us one more movie. Just give us one more. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so he's mine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's amazing. I saw a really cute photo of him with his like <gasps> wife hand in hand the other night. I was just like, oh, Stop. Adorable. Um, Josh, who's yours? I mean, it has to be Spice Girls. Yeah. I mean, be. I'm Generation Spice. Yeah. And I honestly was saying yesterday to Jerry, this is actually quite like a big moment for me. I honestly do not think I'd be the feminist ally I am today if it wasn't for Spice Girls. Because I was like five when they came out. And them okay, being sure. like girl power. It's like, mm. yeah, girls, girl power. Yeah. Like really believing in that. And I think they changed a lot. I know this might sound really extreme because you're going to be like, they just release pop songs. <laughs> <laughs> but they actually, it was a huge no, cultural show. Yeah, it was massive. Yeah, it was. Yeah, they yeah. totally changed his just like Yeah, that movie. Uh, yeah. The, oh my God, the Spice World movie <laughs> is still relevant today. It's iconic. You could watch that. I watch it every year without, it's yeah. a, without fail. Yeah. And it's still great. The comedy. <gasps> have a dress up. Babe, Victoria Beckham's comedy skills in that movie. No, she's funny, level. isn't Baby she? Baby Spice. She's yeah. very funny. I had the shoes and I still have... You know they did the deodorant, the Spice Girls special edition deodorant. Did you, anyone know that? No, they did that. It was okay. Well, I okay, not in Australia. We didn't get it all. Um, <laughs> you didn't out, get the out Walkers press. Out there, we didn't get those. We didn't have Walkers. They had um, special flavors for each of the Spice I Girls. Show off. I got the deodorant. That's all I got. Okay, and I still have it. And I think if I sell it on eBay, I might get five hundred quid. Yeah. 
still got it. Keep it. I've got it. Still kind of smells like it, but I, you know, I used do to you ever like treat yourself to a sniff? Yeah. It's like you don't want to use it all. It's a little <laughs> kind of, oh, yeah, yeah. Do you actually still have it? Okay, that, that's a bit of judgment. Yeah. But yeah, I do, and it's on eBay for a lot of money. Yeah. So is it? Yeah, it is. Like I think because mm. it's like memorabilia, and like they yeah. only have like a special edition. Like it's not. Victoria Beckham. It's actually for 500 quid, you're not joking. No, I'm not joking. Oh, no, no, I don't know about 500 quid, but it's on, like, there are, you can buy memorabilia on eBay. Yeah. And it, these no, are actually Victoria Beckham. Oh, well. stunning. So I feel like iconic. <laughs> Representing. I still love her. Yeah. I still, still love her. Yeah. I know. I mean, yeah. I dress, me and my boyfriend dressed up as Posh and Bex for Halloween, and he was Posh and I was Bex. And so what did you wear? I had a Manchester United um, top on, and oh God, I so painted good. onto the back golden balls and seven, but in like the right so typography. Good. And then I had a sarong on, so it's like all the Oh, I think I remember the, fo like the photo, oh yeah. yeah. God, and then I so had my shoes on, and then I had my hair and curtains, and he, my boyfriend. <laughs> had this like little black dress on, these heels that I brought on Amazon, and then he panicked and he was like, I haven't got enough, I haven't got enough. He went out and brought a £180 coat that he found that looked the exact replica of the one she wore when in engagement photos, and he can't return it. That looks like what so I So if wore. anyone wants to go on Vintage Last and buy Saturday that, night. <laughs> 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 there you go. I, I still rocks. know every move. Yeah. So hey. Stop right now. I could do it, I won't do it, because I might throw something out, but um, stop. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, I'm not going to sing because we'll all, yeah, yeah, suffer oh. for that. But yes, so I feel like I've just moved from Michael Caine to Spice Girls as yeah, well. I yeah, I stand as well. I remember getting a pair of like platform trainers for my oh, sixth birthday. Yes. I remember begging my mum to let me wear them to bed because oh I like love them God. so much. I just wanted to look like a biker. Ones. Yeah, like the big ones because I just remember They're all like of them 20 wearing kilos. them. like 20 kilos. Yeah, and I was like, can I wear them to bed? And she was like, no, hon, like you're going to bed. These are but the battles I'm facing currently as yeah, well. So it I makes understand no sense. your mum being like sleep in the bed. Like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, no, that was obviously Wake up with like a dislocated ankle. Yeah, literally like hanging off. Yeah, isn't it? Like imagine moving those around in bed, like, oh. Yeah, they are iconic. So I feel like we need to get David Attenborough, the Spice Girls, and Michael on the podcast next week. Wait, no pressure. Yeah, yeah, can you get them all on? Um, <laughs> mine, if you're asking, I think it's probably Miriam Margulies. I think oh, she's yeah. just so unfiltered, so hilarious. I love that they just wheel her out on Graham Norton whenever they need like a bit of fun. I just think she's wheel. hilarious. <laughs> you win. I think I think he actually said that to me. Like every time they're a bit short on like banter and like you know a bit of a laugh, they're like, we'll get Miriam on. I just think she's so funny. Anyway, is it too oh, early for Christmas person. content? Not if it's with Kate Moss. We caught up with her to find out how she spends the festive season from presents to food, find out how to do Christmas like an icon. I started Cosmos during the pandemic when I had a lot of time on my hands and I really needed it, something to ground me in my life and I wanted to share that with others. I would love people to use Cosmos and feel like they've taken a moment out of their day to reconnect with themselves and just take a minute to ground themselves and not be distracted by everything that goes on. Christmas for me is quite hectic. Until Christmas Day, the end of Christmas Day is the best feeling. It's all done, all the presents are unwrapped, everyone's happy, and then I can relax. And that's when I start reflecting on the year ahead and what I want to do. I start thinking about shopping for Christmas around the time Strictly Come Dancing starts on TV. I know that Christmas is around the corner when that started. So when I'm buying presents, I usually buy the same thing for everyone because there's so many people to buy for, but I do it in different colours and a monogram, so it's special to each person. I think a good gift is something that's thoughtful and with a nice intention. Christmas morning, you wake up and I'd like to receive Cosmos, the gift set for Christmas. It's a fragrance-free moisturiser and cleanser and a handbag-sized sacred mist. I think I'd be very happy if I got that. For my daily affirmations, I use my Cosmos Love Letters book. I flick and stop when I feel like it and that will be my affirmation for the day. Power is not about strength or material gain. It comes from truth, integrity and loyalty. Be a superpower, be the best version of yourself. Ta -da! So another great gift idea is the teas. Cosmos Dawn Tea and Dusk Tea. Maybe with some sacred mist. Makes you feel amazing. 
So in the Christmas stocking, I like to fill it with an array of gifts. So Charlotte's makeup is always well appreciated. All the girls love it. This is the nude Kate, named after moi. At Christmas, I always love a candle. A diptyque is my favorite. Um, this one is a new design. You can burn it all the way through Christmas. This is Sam at Night's Cool Girl. Apparently it's inspired by my hair. This is a great stocking filler, the mini versions. All girls would appreciate some. This. So I think everyone wants a bit of bling at Christmas. This is Amy Russell Taylor's necklace that I designed with her. It's called the Oracle. It's semi-precious stones. It sits in your solar plexus. This is also from her. And check out her stuff, it's really nice. So at Christmas I also like to give crystals. This is a rose quartz, it's healing and it's beautiful. When I'm wrapping presents, I like to listen to George Michael, Last Christmas, it's my favorite. Christmas dinner or New Year's Eve party, I would always say Christmas dinner. New Year's resolutions, um, no, I just live in the moment. Merry Christmas, sheer Lux. Um, oh my God, as if we just had Kate Moss on the show. What a queen. I mean, bow down. Yeah. An icon, we yeah. love her. We'll add her. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. She's always, she's a perma member of the Yeah, yeah. yeah. right here. Yeah. 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 Goes without saying, doesn't it? Come Kate's on. obviously one of our icons. Oh, that was so much fun. Unfortunately, that is it for today. Thank you so much to all of you guys and the rest of the SL team. On next week's show, Louise Rowe is back with more wonderful guests. We have another fab interview and a look at a very festive team drinks party. In the meantime, we would love it if you could comment below, give us a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't yet. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Goodbye. Thank you.